Shalom. All praise is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kwadash. Double honest and elect apostle Bishop Charles is a great most known and we well. Shalom to like Akia Dead to Swark Sincerity and Truth and not for vain glory in season out of season. Alright, uh, I just wanna go into this this scripture right here. Uh this is Colossians the third chap the, the third chapter and the uh fifth verse. Okay. Uh I'll start at the first verse. Uh, it says, If ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above, which Yahweh Shai, where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Right, because, um, you know, we're not supposed to set our affections on the things of the earth the worldly things okay but the things that are above all right which which is this what this wisdom knowledge and understanding the truth that yahweh bahashem yahweh shai have given until his elect okay you know because um you know paul the apostle paul okay he was going throughout uh certain areas in, in Greece, you know, and uh, Rome and so forth. And, uh, you know, he was uh, bringing back the nation of Israel, the, the, a tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi, who was scattered in Greece and in certain other lands in Europe, you know, he was bringing them back unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? which would be called the Gentiles. Now the Gentiles, uh, these were the, um, when he said there's neither either Jew or Greek, you know, those are talking about Israelites that uh, made Greek their tongue, okay? Made Greek their language that was doing the customs of the Greeks, you know? Because then you had uh, the Jews that were in Greek, which were the tribe of Judah, you get the so-called black man, so-called black woman that knew they, they were Israelites. But then you had the uh, the Jews uh, from the tribe of Judah who didn't know that they were Israelites. OK. All right. That they were the so-called uh, that they were the Jews. OK. And, you know, Paul was going throughout certain places in Greece and so forth. And he was telling them, look. All these things that you're doing, you have to stop doing, okay? Because it's against Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and he was teaching them about Yahweh Shai, okay? Because Yahweh Shai, who Yahweh, which is the Mosai, have sent his son Yahweh Shai to deliver his elect, okay? Of the nation of Israel, all right? It says, if he then be risen with Yahweh Shai seek those things which are above where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affection on things above, not on things on not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Yahweh Shai in Yahweh. When Yahweh Shai, who is our life, shall appear then shall ye also appear with him in glory now this is the point that i wanted to uh get to right here mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication uncleanliness inordinate affection evil consumption even it says evil consumption Consumpuscence and covet covetousness, which is idolatry. Okay. Concupiscence. All right. But the word I want to um, go into is inordinate affection. You know. So let's let's go to the blue letter uh, 
on that. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do I still have it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go to the blue letter on that. Let me see. I mean, I have it here, but let me just uh. I think it's three and five, if I'm not mistaken. Colossians. Third, three, and five. Okay. Okay. It says, Mortify there for your, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, and ordinate affections. Okay, let's go here. It's in the Greek. Okay. Uh, let's go here. All right. Yeah, I think the word here is a uh, pathos. Okay, let me see. Strong's G, 3806, Pathos, Pathos. Yeah, Pathos, Pathos, okay. Okay, uh, let's go to Strong's, Strong's Info. All right, Pathos from the alternate of prob properly suffering, a passion, an ordinate affection, lust. All right. It says, uh, an ordinate affection, affection, lust. Okay. High outline of the Bible usage. It says, whatever befalls one, whether it be sad or joyous, joyous, a calamity, mishap, evil, affliction. It says, a feeling which the mind suffers, an affliction of the mind, emotion, passion, passionate deed, uh, used by the Greeks in either a good or bad sense. In the New Testament, in a bad sense, depraved passions, vile passions okay so yeah that's what it is depraved passions vile passions and you know that's what this world is caught up in okay depraved passions vile passions what is america caught up in what are the majority of people in america into depraved passions vile passions which is, well, let's name one of the major ones is the LGBT community. Okay? You know? All right? The uh, transgenders. That's, that's a depraved passion. That's a vile passion. Passions. That's vile passions, man. Because, you know, that's not what Yahweh Hashem. Yahweh Shai set it up to be, man. He set up to what? That man to be with a woman. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. Same sex marriages and so forth. You know, men marrying men, women marrying women. <clears throat> that's a depraved passion. That's a vile passion. Okay. That's vile passions, man. You know, Two women together with each other, okay? All right, you know. So that's 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 just one of the um, uh, inordinate affections that is one of the major things here in America and even in the Holy Land, man, which is Israel, Tel Aviv, Pink City. 
which has the biggest LGBT community um, parade in the world in Tel Aviv. Okay, that's over there in Israel. Well, that's what they call it, Tel Aviv. Now they have the different colors of the rainbow flag that represents that community, the LGBT community. And I think they want to put the, the uh, white color on the flag, which uh, represents the pedophilia. You see, which that's another um, depraved passion. Okay. You know, they're trying to normalize that now. Make pedophilia normal. Okay. And that's a depraved passion, man, because, you know, a man's not supposed to <laughs> sleep with little five-year-old boys, man, or little five-year-old girls. A woman's not supposed to lay with a little five-year-old boy or a five-year-old girl, you know? I'm just naming those because that's, that's like one of the main ones, okay, you know? And, you know, there's laws against that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, you know, this is what America's caught up in. And this is what our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are caught up in, man. They're caught up in the LGBT community. <sighs> OK. So, you know, when you come into this truth, these are the things that we are supposed to give up. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, that's it on that. And let me go back to the uh, scripture. All right. We go back. No, hold up, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let me go back. Uh, yeah. All right. It says, uh, modify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affections. You see what I'm saying? It says, for which things sake the wrath of Yahweh cometh on the children of disobedience. In, in the which ye also walked some time, excuse me, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. Hey man, so, you know, you know, these, these, uh, these Jews that were scattered in a certain areas of Greece and so forth, they were into that, okay? Because they didn't know the law, statutes and commandments. All right, all right, you know, Okay, so uh, I just wanted to bring that out. You know, I'm not worried about YouTube taking a video down, you know, because I mentioned the LGBT community. Because you know what? This word is, is going to come out anyway, man. Okay. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is going to destroy this place, man, for some of the same very things, for the inordinate affections, for depraved passions. Vile passions, man. Okay. All right. Uh, a man sleeping with two women at the same time. That's against the law, statutes, commandments, too, man. I mean, I know, you know, so called the, the men, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and women think that's the hot shit to do, but it's not, man. That's vile passions, man. Okay. Because two women ain't, ain't supposed to be looking at each other butt naked, man. A man's not supposed to sleep with two women at the same time, man. A menage a trois, as they call it. You see what I'm saying? See, that's a depraved, that's depraved passions, man. That's vile passions. Okay? All right? So, um, you know, that's what it is. <sighs> Okay, uh, right here, the scripture, Leviticus 20 and 13. All right. 20th chapter, 13 verse. 
And the laws are not done away with, by the way. It says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, two men lying with each other, both of them have committed an abomination, a filthy, wicked act. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon, their blood shall be upon them. You see what I'm saying? You see? So all this madness is going on, man. You see what I'm saying? And the laws are not done away with. And just like Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire, America is known as the spiritual Sodom. Okay? You know? So, um, a lot of people are going to be put to death by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Including these damn people on YouTube that take down the videos of the word of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. For the men of the Lord speaking the words and prophecies, the Lord, statute of commandments of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And with that, hope you be edified. Shalom.